Welcome to Friendship Moments with Friendship Baptist Church Killen, Alabama. We hope that this message will inspire you to search the Bible to learn more about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, Thank you for giving us life through the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. May all that we say and do glorify you, and may these words touch the hearts of those who hear. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, I'd like to share with you a lesson I recently learned about pride. Some questions I had on the subject were answered. I will be reading directly from a question and answer format that um, Pastor Jack Kelly's from Jack, Pastor Jack Kelly's website, Grace Through Faith. Now, this website is the through is spelled T H R U, Grace Through Faith, uh, and it's gracethroughfaith.com. And you might want to explore this site for Bible questions you may have different on different subjects. A wonderful website. I will insert some of the. Um, I will insert some of the Bible verses referenced for clarity. This word for word. This is word for word that I'm about to read from this uh, lesson on. It was question and answers on pride. The question. I have a question about pride. In our Bible study last night, someone said that he didn't agree that pride was all that bad. His example was that he takes pride in his job, not so much in the job title, but that he takes pride in doing a good job at what he does. Other members of the group brought up the issue of motives and that we do all for the glory of God and honor of God. And that sin is compared to leaven in the Old Testament in that leaven puffs up. And that is what pride does. It puffs us up. My question is, and this was the woman answering, or asking this question, are we straining at mere use of words or should we take pride in making sure we do a good job or is all pride in whatever form, sin. Answer. Right from the beginning, it was pride that caused all the trouble. Satan's pride, as evidenced in Isaiah 14, 13 through 14, where God speaking to Satan said, For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Also, Ezekiel 28, 12 through 17 um, is, is uh, the whole chapter, actually, of, uh, Ezekiel 28 describes how Satan was. This pride caused Satan's downfall. Cain's pride was wounded when, he, when his offering was rejected, resulting in the first recorded murder. Job's pride blinded him to the sin of self-righteousness that left him open to Satan's attack. The Pharisees were so infected with spiritual pride that they didn't think they needed a savior. The list goes on and on. The use of leaven or yeast to symbolize sin is no coincidence. In the process of rising, leaven corrupts the dough through fermentation. Just so are we corrupted as pride causes us to be puffed up. Taking pride in our work denies our Creator the credit He deserves for having invested in us the capabilities required to do it. 
The Bible tells us to do everything as if to the Lord, as an offering of praise to Him. Ephesians 6, 7 says, With good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. And Colossians 3, 23 says, And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. To every, com uh, every compliment we receive, every well done we hear, even the sense of satisfaction we feel, our response should be, Thank you, Lord. Turning to the Bible, in Proverbs six sixteen through 19, we read, These six things the Lord hates, yes, even seven, are an abomination to him. The first one is a proud look, a lying tongue, <clears throat> hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. Proverbs 16, 18 says, Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 29, 23, <clears throat> One's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. Proverbs 8.13 The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverse mouth I hate. And some verses from the New Testament. James 4.6 but he gives more grace. Therefore, he, the Lord, says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And lastly, John in 1 John 2, 15 through 17 says, Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Let us pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, help us be aware of our thoughts and actions that we, as Paul says in Colossians 3, 12 through 15, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, forgiving one another, and put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in our hearts, being thankful in all things. In Jesus' name, amen.